further south, and that led to 58 mile per hour wind gusts in Bismarck. So these are the highest wind gusts that we saw from yesterday. Today, it's pretty much nothing, but that certainly led to uh, some problems out in the roadway, slick conditions, low visibility, and it didn't matter where you were. We all saw it in addition to a couple of snow showers. But now that colder air keeps making its way across the country. So Bismarck, North Dakota, in general, 25 degrees for a high today. Look how cold it is along the East Coast now. They were in the 80s earlier. So that's the impact that our fronts are making it through as we go across the state. If you are going trick or treating, still in LA today, beautiful weather, 84 degrees. It's just, it. you have to take time to get there. Now, when we look at the coldest Halloween on record, 20 degrees back in 1935, today we're trickling down to the top Th uh, three coldest Halloweens pretty much on record, potentially. That's if our high does stay in those mid-20s, which we are still thinking, of course, because of our high. It's on top of us, that Canadian high, it pushed in, helped us also introduce the winds yesterday. There's that clipper that brought us everything. It's over Wisconsin, approaching, approaching Chicago now. Uh, but we're also starting to see more cloud cover, maybe a couple of snowflakes, no wind really associated with this, so light winds. Uh, temps are in the teens, not warming up a whole lot, only into the mid-20s today. Gloomy skies in Williston, 11 degrees. Winds are south at 15 miles per hour. And that's going to be pretty much the maximum for today. But that is just cold enough to still provide wind chills in the single digits to those teens. So as our high keeps moving on out, we're going to keep bringing in that south wind, but that's the cloud cover we're going to see now. And our high is still in the mid 20s. So it's a cold Halloween, no doubt about that. But we got 26 in Minot, 29 in Williston. We talk about the wind chills because they are out of the south only near zero to those single digits still uh, for much of today, even a handful of degrees below. We go to the kids getting off the bus. They're putting on their costumes if they didn't wear it to school. We're still looking at temperatures, or at least the wind chill value in those single digits. So that is the feel of what it's going to uh, feel like to the touch of your skin. So trick or treating, cold. Wear the jackets, whether it's underneath or over the costumes, that is going to be a must. Bring the hot chocolate, the gloves, uh, the hand warmers, everything you need because it's not going to be super warm at all today. In fact, our normal high right now is 49 degrees. We go to 5 a.m. We have those temps in the single digits and then it's that subtle warming trend that we're seeing. So hovering around freezing the next couple of days, but by Friday we could be pushing a little bit closer towards 40 degrees, but it's going to be a push. But at least we see those temps again above 32. That's going to bring us some melting Krista and it's also that time of the year where we have to move our clocks back one hour so we get one extra hour of sleep if that's how you want to look at it. That's <laughs> right but these these are temperatures are not setting the records that we want to see for this time of year. No, Coldest they, records, yeah. no good for those Halloween costumes. No, nope, no, nope, especially when you show want to show them off. Exactly, the they've been waiting yet. so long. Uh, I know. <laughs>